So what I want to talk about today is motorcycle tire pressure. Uh, we all know how important it is to have the right pressure with handling and safety, but it's a real pain when you're out and about and you, you have to go to a gas station, you need quarters to use the tire pressure machine at, at the gas station. So what I want to talk about today is a portable tire pressure inflator that I got from Walmart, I believe. I've had it for about a year and uh, it's been invaluable to me. Keep it in the garage. Every time I want to check my tire pressure, I just hook it up to the electricity and bang, I can do my tire pressure. So this is a short video on the tire pressure inflator that I bought from Walmart. It was about 50 bucks, had it for about a year and it's been working wonderful. All right, so this is my 2015 FZ09. I really enjoy it. I have just shy of 22,000 miles on it. What I sought out to do was to find a portable tire pressure inflator that I could keep in my garage that didn't cost a lot of money and would be effective at checking and uh, filling the tire in, in my motorcycle. So what I did was I took a stroll to Walmart and uh, this is what I found. I don't know if you can see it or read it. Uh, the brand name is Bonaire, if I'm saying that correctly, a 120 volt inflator. Uh, quite frankly, it's not very powerful, but it works, it works perfect for the motorcycle tire pressure. Uh, when it comes to doing my my car's tire pressure, it takes a little bit of a time to get the tire pressure up, but again, if you're looking for a, a nice, easy way to weekly check your tire pressure, something like this at Walmart will do wonders for you. The Bonaire 120 volt inflator cost me about 50 bucks. Plug it in, it's electric, has the tire pressure gauge on the top. I commute back and forth to work, it's about 100 miles round trip, so to me, tire pressure can deflate. Uh, I, I can lose my tire pressure pretty quickly over a week's worth of driving that far. So, anyways, I'm going to uh, plug this puppy in and give you a demo of how this works. Okay, so this is an electric device. Plug the puppy in. I like to tie a knot around it so I don't inadvertently or accidentally pull too hard and unplug it. So it's pretty simple. Plug it in. Check the gauge. It's got an on-off switch and it's got a clamp uh, tire valve. So let's see what we can do. We've got to find this thing. One thing about the FZ09 that I don't like, uh, I, my, my original bike when I got back into riding in 2011 was a, a Triumph Bonneville. And quite frankly, uh, they do a really good job of having an L-shaped tire pressure valve, which makes it really nice to get in here. This is kind of a pain in the knuckles, you know what I mean? Push it down though, push it down, snap it in place. If you can see that, push it down, snap it in place. And so, uh, what do I got? So that I don't have to remember, right? How many of you do this? I put my tire pressure, my notes inside here. Let's see if I know how to spell tire. Nope. Nope. Fat fingers on the gloves. Let's try this a thousand times. Tire. Let's see. Look at that, FC09 tire pressure, there it is. Let's open that baby up. So what do we got? So, let's see, um, da, 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 cold tire pressure. For the front tire, it's 32 PSI, can you see that? My FC09, 32 PSI for the front tire, 42 for the rear. So that's what I'm shooting for. 42 PSI for the rear. What do I got now? It's not too bad if you can see that right at 40 but let's get it right on to specs turn it on doesn't take very long again not very powerful for a car but for a motorcycle this is a perfect tool and there you have it 42 psi for the rear tire unplug this thing by snapping it up pulling it out and you're done how quick is that no more worrying about having quarters in your pocket Okay, let's do the front tire. Hey, look at that. How, how, how often are you this lucky that the tire valves are both accessible when you're changing, excuse me, when you're checking and adjusting your tire pressure. So remember we said 36 PSI for the front tire, right? Same gig. Push this puppy down. Front tire's a little harder with the brake rotors, but we'll push it down. Snap it in place. Ah, that's good. Check what we got. What do we got here? Looks like uh, 34, so let's go up to 36.
just like that, 36. Again, pop that thing off, pull it up, put your cap back on. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it. If you're looking for a nifty way to be able to check and adjust your tire pressure in your driveway and not have to have quarters and find a dang gas station that has a tire pressure inflator, something like this at your local Walmart, Target stores. Um, again, I've never heard of the Bonaire brand name, but something simple, about $45 to $50, 120 volt inflator. Uh, what I wanted to make sure was it had the, the clamp to clamp it onto the, the tire valve and the gauge so that I knew what the tire pressure was, and this works awesome. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Uh, if you like these sort of videos, uh, Motorcycle Melee is safety first. Our motto is ride safer, ride longer. And I think we can all agree that having proper tire pressure on the only two wheels that are touching the ground uh, is key to riding safe. Thanks, folks. Uh, you like these videos, man, feel free to subscribe.